Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Always do your best. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 65, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's flat, gold contract down $25.30, trading at $14.85 an ounce. Silver off 46 cents, $17.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 73 cents. $57.26 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down 21 ticks, 128.29. 30 year off a point and a half, 157.28. King dollar. King dollar, 478 ticks, 97.983. The euro is at 110. The yen is out here at 109.23. And the pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I well, know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at it. We get a lot to cover, and we're going to cover it right here, right now, because we get uh, metals action, dollar action, S&P action. S&P action out here. We uh, haven't hit an all-time high yes, uh, yet. 307.91 we got to today. 307, 308 on the dot was the high out here on yesterday. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. What do we have with the NDX 100, the three Qs? Looking at the NDX 100, that we hit $200.55, and that did go to a new all-time high, $200.51 was the high, and the Dow certainly is at a new high because we're up 81 points in the Dow. Uh, Dow, uh, new high out here at 27,560. Okay, notes and bonds. Here we go, baby. Notes and bonds. So what do we have? You get the 10-year note, 30-year bond. They're going after the September 13th uh, swing, swing low. Uh, bottom line, it's going to be pretty cool watching how this shakes out. Now, they haven't held price at all. That being said, uh, it's anemic volume as, as how we're coming into this. We're coming into this with 1.6 million contracts. We did 2.4 million at the 128.16. So we've hit 128.27. I suspect uh, more than likely we're going to go down into that level tomorrow. That being said, what you also have is that you're also going into the August 1st sign of strength. The August 1st sign of strength is that is where uh, bottom line is that we broke topside and went to a new level. If we go take a look at the TLT, you're going to be able to see it a little bit clearer because what ends up happening, of course, is that the future contracts every three months, uh, you get you got to push these things forward. Inside the TLT, what you'll see here is this. this now, the TLT is the 20-year plus ETF structure. That's down $1.84 today. You tr you're trading $136.87. You have volume out here of $9.8 million. Now, the swing low is $136.54. So we hit $136.73. That number there is 18 million not only that as we broke top side you were break you were breaking the top side with 26 million and then you went even higher with 32 million so i do expect tomorrow we're going to end up getting that tested bottom line we'll see whether price can hold rejection of price um our bottom line it blows it blows it right through gold contract what do we have with the gold contract same type of setup inside the gold market gold and silver they whack gold as well as silver out here today if we take a look at the gold contract, what you're going to see is that you're down $25. You get, now this is where this gets really wild. You get, you get monster volume. You get 565,000 contracts. Yet you haven't even broken the small swing point yet. Now the small swing point in gold is 1478. We went to 1480. Um, the larger swing point gets down to the price, gets down to this uh, October 1st, which is 1465. And then what you're also coming into, uh, and that's what we did test out here today, okay? We got the 1480. You're testing the strength that was from August 7th. And thus far, folks, what you've had here, and this is pretty cool watching this, how this, you've rejected it. 
So what does a rejection mean? So on August 7th, you went from 1484 to 1522. You did 652,000 contracts. What we did, what we have done out here thus far today is that you went to 1480, which got us under the 1484. You're now above 1484. You're at 1486. We've done 565,000 contracts versus 652,000. So you can see we're still 90,000 contracts shot. You had lighter volume, rejected price, bottom line. You know, we'll see uh, how this shakes out. Uh, meaning that you get a full rejection and, it, and you get a ride back topside. Let's go take a look at the 30 year. The, now, the way that is set up, that is set up that that's what it wants to do. Okay, you know, we, we understand we're in the probability business, but bottom line, when you get a rejection of lower price like this, you get a flush out to the downside. Bottom line, you get above the strength again. That says you're going topside once again. We're going to take a look at the silver contract. Silver contract down 46 cents. It hit a low today of $17.52. Now, your benchmark out here, you get a few of them. So the, the larger one is uh, 16.94. And we're talking, you got one's 96,000 contracts, another's 134,000 contracts. And I'll go with, let's, we'll go to the SLV on this one because that way you don't have to string these together. So the SLV, which trades it uh, uh, off the, the future price, what you're going to see here is that you're down with 19 million shares, you're going into 29 million. Uh, the SLV itself, it hasn't even got into a lower swing point yet, which is $16.15. Pretty wild. The yen, we're going to go to the yen quickly. Why are we going to go to the yen? Because bottom line tonight in Japan, this is going to be a big deal, folks. Uh, we are at 109.21, and I don't want to see this yen over, blast over the 109.32. What we had done last week is that we got to the 109.29 and gave it up. We went from 109.29, two days later, you're down to 107. You're charging back here. It's going to get tested. We'll see how this test runs out tonight. What's also going to happen in Japan tonight is that you're going to have SoftBank come out with numbers. So uh, uh, not that uh, that trades in the United States, but what we do have, because we've had so much publicity with uh, WeWork, you know, with some of the Slack, with some of the other companies that he does own, um, that's going to be a number out here tonight. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.